What is going on guys, we're here with another old T-Series, this is Winner's Bracket, Shoka vs. Ampo. Yeah, this is game 2, uh, Shoka won game 1, I missed that. Basically, um, I'm like, I missed 5 turns of this as well, so we're gonna rewatch real quick. They're playing super fast as well. This is a lead Hazard Greninja. And yeah, the Zapdos is um, Gigavolt Havoc, I actually know this team because NJMP posted it. The three is a bit unfortunate. I assume he would have gone for defog that turn. Um, he goes to Sableye to prevent more spikes from going up. And yeah, Ampo is probably fishing for a freeze here. He's gonna recover, obviously. Uh, he's gonna recover once more, and after that, he can go for a knockoff or Will O Wisp. As Ampo does predict, the Will O Wisp goes in the cleft. Nice play. He has used Offensive Cuthel before with Focus Sash, I'm wondering if it's that sad. But yeah, this is Dev Wish Jirachi to check um, Mijuna and to check Tapu Lele especially. It also helps with Tapu Bulu, it obviously has enough speed for those mons. Um, this, this stall team is quite interesting, but some of the sets are weird, like the Lanos is HP Fire. And the, whatchamacallit. It doesn't have a Cleric, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of a stall team without a Cleric. HP Fire obviously doesn't do enough. I'm s yeah, okay, the reason why he isn't going for Spikes is because he was predicting the sap, I guess. Like he was fearing the sap to come out on the spike. So I assume he's gonna go into sap or Alamola here. Obviously, he has to recover here as um, Ampo keeps Ice Beaming and fishing for freeze. Slash making the Sableye, um, making Sableye use more recovers. I think the Zapdos on the team's Gigavolt Havoc to kill months like Mega Mawile. Maybe it's for Heracross, I'm not 100% sure what it's for. But yeah, Sable got frozen. Uh, definitely sucks, he got frozen twice, but Choka can still win this game. He's gonna Scald slash knockoff here, anticipating the Taunt. Yeah, obviously if you put the Taunt, you would Scald. Knockoff is, wouldn't kill because you turn into Dark type. So if this is, yeah, this is a sub Zygarde, this is a problem for Shoka because sub doesn't break, the, the skull doesn't break the sub. I mean, he can skull once more to break the sub and then he probably has to switch into Landorus to get up Intimidate. But yeah, it's Landorus only has Earthquake to hit the Zygarde, it's in power 500 HP eyes. And it's not lefty Zygarde, so if it's not uh, some berry, it's most likely Z-move Zygarde. And yeah, if Shoka thinks it's a Z move, he might go into Jirachi or something. Um, or he might take the Z. Ah, exactly. He tried. I meant Zap, does not Jirachi, yeah. He tried to sack it on the Z. Um, I think he assumed it was the Outrage, but it was the Tectonic Rage. So it was. Um, Z Thousand Arrows. I mean, sometimes I've seen Z Earthquake, but I think on this set he's uh, the. Yeah, it's E Speed, we see that now. Because they did a revenge that. And he is obviously gonna switch out here and Alamola hope to get a burn. That's the SD. So maybe Q is either life orb or some I guess red card is an option as well. He does not get the burn. So he sacks a sable I hear. They like for me it's like hard to like analyze, they're playing fast as fuck and I'm also I also didn't sleep well last night but yeah I'm gonna bring you guys basically a replay of game 2 whenever the series is over snatches the dead on Shadow Sneak's Revengers um, this is Mega Gyarados I assume if it's sub or taunt Gyarados it kinda wins the game uh, it's, if it's sub it wins the game if it's taunt it can still get Scott burned <clears throat> so if he doesn't burn here um, I would DD again here breaking the protect Oh, he didn't DD again. If he doesn't burn this with the L, then he just kind of loses to Gyarados. Because Ditto has less HP. Oh yeah, he's probably not DDing up more, so Ditto cannot revenge him that well. And that burn is dead, it sucks. And yeah, I mean, he got frozen twice, to be fair. He got frozen twice. Without the freezes, the game would have already been in Shoka's favor. So you can say it's deserved the freeze.
I don't know why he ice fanged. I mean, yeah, he wanted to try to make sure to kill the Landris. At this point, the Gyarados doesn't do enough damage to Alamomola anyway. Like, he needs to DD up a few more times to do enough damage, and even if he, like, somehow kills the Alamomola, he would then get reverse uh, swept by the Ditto. But yeah, he's not even gonna be able to kill the Aloe. Like, Crunch is doing zero damage, 30%. Like, nice chip. He wishes up the ditto. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like Sash with Flamethrower, T Bolt, Moonblast, and Rocks. Like, it doesn't have a reco uh, recovery move. It's probably Max Speed, Max Special Attack. T Bolt, yup. I think it's for like Pelipper, for lead Pelipper, but. What, what else is T Bolt for? Cell Stealer? Huh, what else? But you also have flamethrower for Celestia, so it's not mainly for that. But yeah, the game's pretty much over, like Ample can't win anymore. Knocks off the sash, confirming that it's that fan. Man, yeah, I didn't expect this um uh, ulti series to happen today. I was just checking my computer and I thought game two started already and I missed game one. Keeps wish passing into the ditto. You can just Moonblast here. I mean... Jirachi um, outspeeds Majuna before it shift gears up. So, like, I don't see how Majuna can win. So, like, even if Majuna somehow... Even if Majuna somehow beats Jirachi... Uh, as long as the Ditto is alive, the Ditto is most likely gonna be able to revenge... Majera, even if it sets up. So you can go Jirachi here, there's a spe the special attack drop. And um, this is most likely Sugarberry or something like that. He went Lando, why did he go Lando? Okay, he um, doubled into Gera, expecting Jirachi, question mark. But Alamomola obviously walled for days. Like, I don't see, uh, like, Ample cannot win this game. And you guys can see he said GG's, which means um, he forfeited. Good luck in the next round. Uh, Ampo's not out of ulti yet. Yeah, he makes a smart play, wish pass in Jirachi, so it's healthy, and then he beats the mid -journa. I mean, the, the, cr the flinches make it even easier, but even without flinches, he most likely would have beaten this anyway. Crit f flinch and the crit flinch. So the Ashoka wins this 2-0, and, oh, and we're now going to go over the replay of game 1. Yeah, and you guys can see here which other games are left to play. Extra Shine vs. CL, Googly vs. Sabella. Backup Living Karen Smith are left for Runa's Bracket and for Luda's Bracket. Um, Kick Ezra vs. Kanto and Ojama vs. Floppy is left. Um, this series has already been played. I uploaded this. I missed this series. But yeah, let me just go to the, to the Shoka Game 1 replay. Fix the dimensions real quick, one second. Okay, here we are, we do see Ample brought HO both games. And yeah, this is most likely Rock's uh, Guard Chomp, unless it's Rock's Mew. Um, potential Z-Move users... It has a lot of potential Z-Move users, but this is most likely Mega uh, Gyarados. This could be the Z-Move Mew, Z-Move Mijuna, or like, these other could also be Z-Move. But if this is Shoka Mijuna, which um, I think he has used a few times, then it could be Z-Move Mew. Uh, looking at Shoka's team, I assume that this is Scarf Cartana. Obviously, Rocks Lando and the Defox Scissor. I mean, it doesn't have to be Defox Scissor, it could also be Defox Lari, but I assume it's Defox Scissor. But yeah, I actually haven't seen this game at all, so let's watch it. So let's put Coco here. Um, so he's either going to U turn out here, or if he's back, so yeah, he can then attack if he's confident. Um, yeah, he's most likely confident that this Garchomp isn't Scarf, because it's the only Rocker besides the Mew, and it's most likely not going to be Rocks Mew. So he uh, assumes that it's not Scarf Jump and attacks with Dazzling Gleam. The only reason why Ampo stayed in, obviously, is because he has a Sash. 
He can throw up his rocks. I'll go for earthquake here, but your rocks make sense. And he can potentially go into the Magirna here because he's locked into Dazzling Gleam with the Coco. Shuka anticipates that and goes into his Landris. And Shoka is probably going to defog later, so he's, I don't think he's going to go for rocks. I think he's just going to attack here. He does attack. We do see Empo has the tech Shuka Berry. He's going to go for Ice Beam here, and we do see ooh, Shoka also has the tech Yachi Berry. So now uh, Empo is forced out. Um, I assume Shoka is going to predict the switch here and go for either Yuchan or something like rocks. Yup. There's a Dragon Dance. Did he U-turn out or did he just sack? Yeah, U-turns. Um, into probably Mega Scissor? Oh, Lari. Scarf Lari. Okay, so he's gonna weaken this with a Draco. Has to be Scarf Lari. Okay, so I was thinking was well, Scarf Katana. I guess it's not. Okay, uh, probably Z move Katana then. He did this again to outspeed the Scarf Lari. He can just crunch here. Um, smart play by Shoka, anticipating the crunch, going to Tita. Tita can eat it up and put some more sand damage on the Gyarados. I think he's trying to get the Gyarados in range from Bullet Punch from the Mega Scissor. So he sacks out the Landers here to get more sand storm damage on the Gyarados. And now he can go into the Scissor here and then he can Roost. Um, if he's a defensive Mega Scissor, he can eat up a hit and then he, then, um, he will take another round of sand storm damage. And yeah, it's gonna be in bullet punch range eventually. Unless if he gets a flinch, it would be bad for Shoka. But yeah, we obviously already know that Shoka wins this because yeah, he, he won 2 and 0. Oh. I just haven't seen this game live as, as mentioned earlier. So yeah, he roots tries to make sure that this is in range. Okay, okay, I thought he only had to roost once. He has to roost tries apparently then. Okay, so bullet punch, Bob, Gyarados goes down. And yeah, um, Ample's team is already weakened a lot at this point. It's looking like um, Katana can clean up for Shoka pretty soon. We do see it's Rock Polish. So it's most likely Minium Z with um, Double Dance, Rock Polish, Nasty Plot. And then either with Aura Sphere or with Fire Blast. If he has Aura Sphere, he can pop the Teeter here. Yup. I've even seen Focus Blast sometimes for the power on this Mew set. But yeah, mostly I've seen uh, Aura Sphere. So I guess Scissor here is going to Bullet Punch. He can go into like maybe Diggers B, yeah. He can potentially have fire, like fire punch would be the attack to kill Scissor, but otherwise he's just gonna earthquake. He spikes, okay. So maybe this was Sash spam, Sash Diggers B, Sash Lagarchamp? Because we don't see like a life orb or anything like that. He sacks off the chomp to rocks and he's gonna go Mimikyu, I assume. But yeah, you guys can see, oh, okay, goes Mijuna. His team is already weakened and Cortana is most likely going to clean up. t bold I assume? Mm hmm Because if he shift gears, then he has to take another bull punch. I mean, he gets revenged by either Cortana or Coco. Like, he just runs through with Cortana now, Shoka. Miku still has the disguise, but Cortana has decent physical defense, so he can take a hit with ease. Leaf Blades, and yeah, then he can just... Does he not have Smart Strike? I mean, Leaf Blade would probably kill, uh, especially a plus one Leaf Blade just kills this. It's Life Orb. So he's just gonna Leaf Blade twice and clean up the game. Shadow Sneak... Shadow Clown to Shadow Sneak doesn't even kill. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this wasn't, like, the best... narration. Like, like I know I have done, like, some... nice narrations lately, but... obviously in this game, I was just... I don't know, I didn't really feel like... <laughs> He, like the game he was that I recorded live, he had stall. I didn't really feel like trying to like give the best narration for that. But yeah, um, what you can expect is I have a few more snake games that I have to re-narrate. Um, but yeah, I'm still feeling a little bit sick, and um, I don't know the English word for it. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, you can expect at least one more upload later. Um, if if I'm feeling well, maybe even two. And uh, yeah, I, yesterday I didn't have an upload, yeah, because I was, yeah, I was a little bit sick, I was sleeping super long. What else? But yeah, um, Empo was uh, also was having a good run and Shoka's having an amazing run. So yeah, still, I will um, follow both players' runs and yeah, still, um, good luck to both players is what I'm trying to say in future games. And Shoka is actually like surprising me a lot because I think his main his main uh, gen is black and white, and 
when he qualifies, he used stall quite a good amount, but he doesn't use stall only, so like, um, that's definitely um, nice for him, like he's, um, he can use different place dice, which is always a plus, if you can use stall in something else, it's always a plus, because then they have to prep for stall, but you can just, um, why the fuck can I not talk, you can just catch them off guard if you bring something else, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you still enjoyed, even though this was kind of like rushed, and like, I don't know how to say, but yeah, this was a bad outro, good god, but yeah, I'll, um, I bring you guys maybe P2 versus P2 versus um, Bush Touch later. I also record a Black Oblivion's game. I record NJMP's games. Like I have a lot in the back, but I, I have to re-narrate some of them. So I'm not sure when they will go up. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And congrats to Shoko. He's still in winner's bracket and Empo. Not all of it yet, so he can still pull through the next round and lose bracket. Yeah, peace out, friends.